In this lesson, we're going to simplify expressions where there are multiple numbers to add or subtract. Um, and I'm going to use strategy one here. Uh, remember, at the beginning of this section, um, I presented two videos. One, uh, we looked at one way of turning subtraction problems into, an ad into addition problems. And, and then in a second one, we looked at a second way. Um, and so at this point, um, I would say that if you preferred the second strategy, uh, which remember was cross the line, change the sign, if that's your preferred method and you've been doing well with that method, I would say it's okay to turn this video off and open up the next video where I'll do some similar examples using that strategy. Uh, but for those of you who liked that first way I proposed, which was to just use this definition that subtracting a number is the same as adding its opposite. Go ahead and stick with me here and uh, we'll we'll take a look at two examples. So in this first example here we have 13 minus 5 minus negative 7 plus negative 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify all of the subtraction signs. And I'm just going to go ahead and circle each one. So that's definitely a subtraction sign this is definitely a subtraction sign. But of course that's a negative sign, so we don't circle that. And then we have a plus sign here, which is exactly what we want, right? We're trying to turn every subtraction into addition. So we don't have to do anything with this because it's already what we want. So it looks like we have two signs that we need to change. And so what we'll do here, uh, remember, is we're going to turn both of these symbols into pluses. But we have to remember that we can't do that for free. In order to turn both of those symbols into pluses, what we need to do is turn the numbers to their right into the opposite. So this 5 right here to the right of this minus sign needs to become its opposite, which is negative 5. And this negative 7, which is to the right of this minus sign, needs to become its opposite, which is 7. And then finally, we have our plus negative 2 that's just going to go along for the right here. So we have plus negative 2. Okay. And so I've got all these different colors floating around here, so let me just clean it up, get everything in the same color. So 13 plus negative 5 plus 7 plus negative 2. All right. And remember, if you want to, you can gather your positives together and your negatives together in one place using the commutative property of addition. And I'm going to add these two. 13 plus 7 is 20. And then these have the same negative sign, so add 5 and 2, you get 7, so of course I have negative 7 here. And then we'll finish out the problem by subtracting 20 and 7, and understanding that the answer is positive because the larger absolute value is a positive number. All right. Going over to the next example, we're going to do the same thing. First of all, this is a negative symbol. There's no number in front, so it can't be a subtraction sign. This, however, is definitely a subtraction sign. So is this. This is just fine how it is. It's a plus symbol, just like we want. But then here's another subtraction sign. So I have three subtraction signs that I have circled. So I know that I'm going to have negative 2 this needs to become a plus. And I know that the number next to that plus, this 5, needs to become its opposite. And the opposite of 5 is negative 5. And we've got to change this next one. And I'm a little off here in, my, in lining things up because of my big handwriting. But I know that that minus sign needs to also become a plus and then my number next to that minus sign needs to become its opposite, so that would be negative 7. So since I'm offline here, let me 
make a couple of arrows just to keep track of everything. Now, the uh, plus eight, that's just going along for the ride. Because we don't need to change anything there, that's exactly what we want. And then this minus sign here is of course going to become plus. But I need to change the number to its right. I need to change that to its opposite. And the opposite of negative 8 is of course 8. And so with all of that, let's clean this up. Put it all in one color. We've got negative 2 plus negative 5 plus negative 7 plus 8 plus 8. And this example is kind of convenient because all the negatives and positives are already together. So 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 7 is 14, so all those negatives could become negative 14. 8 plus 8 is 16, so I get 16. And what I'm going to get here is an answer of 2. So, again, if this is not your favorite strategy and you like the cross the line, change the sign a little bit better, I'm going to do a couple of similar examples in the next video, so please watch that.